everybody. I'm going to try something here with the Alpha that normally we do with vinyl decals. Okay, so with vinyl decals on a painted rocket, you can um, put the decal sticky side into some water that contains just a little bit of dishwashing liquid. And this kind of lubricates the decal so that you can move it around, get all the air bubbles out and such. And then when the water dries out, it becomes permanent. You do have to have a sealed rocket. So if you're um, spray painting, um, a good spray paint job with a couple of coats of paint should be sufficient. If you used acrylics, you're going to want to put a couple of coats of clear coat on that so that you have a waterproof finish. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try this first with the Alpha decal. All right, now you still want to handle this as little as possible to keep fingerprints off. All right, but now I'm going to place it in my soapy water here. Now this isn't vinyl, so this is why this is kind of an experiment here. Okay, but one of the, the problems with these self-stick ones that Estes gets is that if you don't get it perfectly right the first time, it usually peels your paint up if you try and reposition it. Okay, so, so far this is working as it should. All right, and then you just take a tissue or a paper towel and squeegee this out. Okay, now it's got kind of a foggy appearance, and I'm hoping that's going to go away as the water dries. All right, so try and squeeze as much out as you can. All right, and then I'm going to come back after a few hours and see if this is held. Now I'm already seeing... No, no, it's not coming up yet. So I was afraid it might start coming up at the edges right away. Okay, so I'm going to let that just sit there for a couple of hours, and if this works, then you'll get to see the video. If it doesn't work, I'm not going to show it to you. Okay, it's been a couple of hours now, and it's not peeling back up, which is good. Um, it's probably going to take a couple of days for this discoloration to go away, but I think it'll be fine. Now, the other ones here, the, the top stripes and the Estes uh, emblem, I did those dry. Okay, so that's how they look, just doing them normally. Now here I added the fin stripes here using the wet method and note that I've got some excess material over here. So to get this to fit right you actually overlap the edges a little bit and then once you've got this in place and if you're using the water method once it's dry then take um, your hobby knife with a new blade so it's nice and sharp and then go through and trim this material off and that will give you a really nice finish. Okay. Now it only comes with enough stripes for two fins. Um, I'm just going to do mine with one fin here, so the, the odd fin there. Um, but I think overall this is going to look pretty good.